Good evening YouTube. This is Chris Green again with Outdoor Power Tech. And uh, what, what we're going to be working on this afternoon is this PB500T Echo. Um, the guy brought it to me had some carb issues and I went through the car probably three times still still having the same exact issue so I'm just going to replace the whole carb. This video is going to be on how to replace a carb, not rebuild but replace. Getting a new carburetor out. Let's bear with me for a minute. First, we're going to take off these air filter cover. Set that to the side. Then we got a four millimeter Allen wrench. Most of these two, new two cycles, they all use this four millimeter. Now, once you get these two out, it is going to want to fall. back play off. Alright and this just pulls away. There's rubber grommet on both sides. Don't lose that. And this piece of gasket right here it's going to want well I say it wants to fall. It will fall off. Just set that down somewhere and remember the order that it went in. This notch on right here goes on the left because that's where your linkage goes up and down. If you put this on backwards You'll put it all back together and everything. You go to squeeze your trigger and it's not going to work. Pull your linkage out. I'm going to go ahead and undo the gas cap a little bit to relieve some pressure so it don't blow back. Pull two gas lines off. There's our new carburetor. Take the black rubber grommet off the old one, put on a new one. And then you just put it back together the way it come apart. Put your linkage in. And if nobody's replacing gas lines on yours, if you're doing this for the first time, your black gas line goes on the very bottom, bottom right there. It's, it has a wider lip on it anyway, so you'll be able to see. And your yellow gas line goes right there. Be sure to check your gas lines also to make sure there's no cracks. I know there's some lino cracks. your gasket put back right there. Now this could be tricky so don't let it get on your nerves and get upset. Just take your time. Everything goes back together where it's supposed to. Trust me these two cycle stuff can really get you upset. Go ahead and put your 
two bolts in there like that while you hold this with your finger this helps helps out a whole lot slide these two back in Once you get them started, just make sure when you're putting this on there, everything lines up with the gasket in the back. If you did just like I did and your screws can screw in, you, everything's lined up. If you can't get a screw to screw in, then your gasket back here is off just a little bit. Snug these, remember, don't do them too tight because you can strip out the, where they screw into the block. Then put your air cover back on. that's it I hope y'all learned something today and hope y'all have a blessed day until next time take care